it. We, I was in the air when they came back, and so I was in five guys who up the 13th Armory, and we went into this town of Burkhouse, and we loaded up this old bus, had a bull house on the side of the bus, and we loaded that up with a couple of towels, and uh, uh, 4,000 loaves of bread, and a uh, case of champagne, and a of beer. Yeah. Oh, but you were around all day, weren't you? Yes, we was. And, but when I brought the bus back in the woods, I was, uh, they tried to mob me, right? and so I couldn't unlock the door, so they just threw the stuff all over him, they got anything. So, then uh, they set up groups, like, and that way, just cast it out, uh, divided it up. Well, obviously this anniversary is very is very special. What uh, for uh, for folks that uh, may have not had to live through the experience of that? What what can you tell folks about the importance of what you folks went through World War II? Well, the only thing I would say is that uh, this is our country and it's the best in the world, and uh, it's worth fighting for, and uh, we should never uh, delete our army or navy or air force or anything like we're doing now. We got. Everybody's enlisted, nobody's drafted or anything like that. They're all fully trained and so forth. And it's, uh, but when our, we were at our worst, and we Hitler and the Japs jumped us, people were training with wooden guns. Today we've got tops of everything. You should keep it that way, regardless of the cost. If we can give millions of dollars away to foreign countries and this and that, we can take care of our own, and we can take care of our own veterans. Well, Bill, I certainly appreciate you visiting with us, and I'm glad you're here in Branson, and I'm glad you're going to be here. All right, Bill, thank you very much, and thank you for visiting. Thank you. All right. Bill Clark visiting with us is 21 of the great victories. Trish, the dish is high, high, man. Right? Reflect back to you.